Yo, what is good, my anime face? What is good? Summertime render, yo. Holy. It's been one hell of a ride with y'all, man. Thank you for anyone who's been rocking with me so you know how I feel about most of the things that have been popping off. <sighs> it's this type of stuff that has me super curious of why certain uh, directions were taken. You know, why are, uh, you know, these characters thinking, you know, they can do what it is they do at the end of the day. A lot of that stuff was seemingly questionable, especially after our MVP goes down, who pretty much fused and became uh, the original Shadow in, in a way, so to speak, right? Like, because of all the stuff, she has uh, fully awakened towards the end. Meaning, uh, those eyes that she had practically were just the normal eyes she had. Like, she probably chose to have, right? Like, uh, to be fair, we're going to have to see what ha happens going forward after, um, geez, as soon as I start talking, everybody and their mom <laughs> is driving. Shout out to the cameos. Shout out to the cameos. Uh, <laughs> but... Regardless of how they really uh, hit home with what we've already kind of put together for ourselves, um, all the loops and just like who's helping, who's not helping, and practically where they're going to end up if they continue going down the route that they're going. I was in the picture where I think a lot of us were that we have the main character passing on. We have him at the end of the day more than likely uh, disintegrating just like his teacher after having the brother push his body to such a ridiculous uh, limit. Not to mention he's been injured this whole time. Um, it's a lot that we take for granted when watching uh, the younger brother taking over and just him not even being really useful if the brother wasn't uh, there at, the, at this moment. So I like stuff like that. It makes not only him getting the power of <clears throat> what's possibly the strongest human character against the shadows, who is a shadow technically, right? Uh, Shide confirms that by saying, you know, I've had this power for so long, and that's why I'm much better than you with it. And not only that, him remembering uh, the loops that have actually occurred made him even way more intelligent than uh, most people can even imagine. Like, to know that everything has already happened and that it could possibly happen again, uh, you just have to prepare for it. And... It put him right on the playing field uh, with his enemy, but at the same time, it gave us a good look at just how adept he was at doing loops just as much as our characters were. So it's bittersweet that the show is coming to an end, but kind of not. These are the type, this show and like when they cry, shows that are like time loops and very painful for the characters I'm watching. I'm pretty happy when it's over, uh, depending on how it ends, right? Like, some of those shows are just, their endings are jacked up. But this final episode is called um, I'm Home. So it feels like, just like she was saying, you know, she was going to save him. And not only that, she came to him in a moment where I almost broke down and started crying, seeing uh, our main character waking up. And the sensei wasn't in front of him in the seat. I almost burst it out in tears. But because the show kept going, and I kind of like rewind it a little bit to make sure I was like, oh, I want a screenshot for my uh, Twitter, stuff like that. Um, I started watching it a little bit more, and I, it started sinking in more. Uh, and then, boom, she's back. And that right there... Um, 
call it cheesy. I I truly appreciate the small things that we get in these shows, especially with the roller coaster of thing of events that happen. So it's kind of questionable if you know that's the true source material and stuff like that. That's why that's why I think anime has been so fun lately, as, as of uh, lately too. Sometimes the animation studio likes to change the stories. We've gotten that with a couple of animes. Some people don't care for it, some people do. But this could have ended a lot more darker with him passing away, not being able to go home um, in some way, shape, or form. So I am very curious to know if this is just how the story ends, or maybe there's another alternate ending in the uh, source material that they just didn't want to go with. Regardless, there's still an episode left, so we got to, you know, honor that episode, just like we were honoring all the fallen ones, and I'll definitely talk to you in the next one. Thank you so much for the support. I am your boy, the Anime Juke, and I, of course, I will be dropping more videos, and if you drop a comment, I'll be the first one to reply to you. Take care, and peace.